There is so many different stakeholders and parties here that are involved in this. It's such a sensitive trade. And while James Harden hasn't formally requested a trade, his behavior on their West Coast trip last week and into this week is definitely an informal trade request. And so there is a deal to be made, and I'm sure that it is going to get tense today. But the real question from what I can see in talking to people around this is, if the Nets do not do this deal, what James Harden are they getting for the rest of the season? And that is something that I'm not sure, you know, how you get that answer. I don't know if that's a Durant conversation, an ownership conversation, a coach conversation. But James Harden, especially with what he did in Sacramento last week, and I just want to pause to explain real closely. This is one of the greatest scores in NBA history. He just recently had a streak of 450 consecutive games and double figures. He scored four points in that game. He was wearing a sign over his neck that said, trade me. So while the, 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 the Nets do not want to help a team in their division and make them stronger, what will happen to them if James Harden is not traded? That is going to be, I think, the crux of this negotiation today. And Jay, Will, is that potentially, though, a best-case scenario for them? Let's say that all the COVID protocols change and that they change down the stretch here in the NBA season. Let's say we get Kyrie Irving full-time. Let's say KD is healthy. Let's say the three of them, which we haven't seen much, actually are able to take the floor together. Do you see that changing James Harden in any appreciable way? Well, I mean, for the Nets, if they're able to get what their ass is for, you know, and obviously I haven't had to specify, Wendy would know a little bit more than I would, but if that, if that is a Matisse Thibel and a Tyrese Maxey and a Ben Simmons, then I feel like if you're the Nets, okay, I'll, right. I'll, I'll take that deal. I don't think Daryl Morey is going to be willing to give that up. So what you do go into a scenario is you treat this like a Kawhi Leonard in Toronto. Hey, look, man, we know this is your last run here. And I agree with Wendy, four points in 37 minutes. Get the heck out of here. That's an embarrassment. You made your message clear. But what we do have a chance to do right now is a chance to clean up your reputation. If we can come together and we can hoop out for the second half of the season and win a championship, and then when you want to do a sign and trade, fine. But at least we can win together if we all are able to play. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that what he came here to do? I mean, not that long ago he came here as part of a super team to win a championship. So, I, I mean, look, Hannah, the reputation of James Harden, I think, has been shattered over the last well, few years. Well, forced from, himself out from of an accountability, Houston. Yeah, and, right. and now you're looking at this situation, so mm -hmm. it, it's All an right. unfortunate situation. Really quickly, another situation. The Lakers, Russell Westbrook, where are we potentially? Wendy? There's just nothing. The, the, as far as last night, the, the Lakers were still not willing to include their 2027 first-round pick. <laughs> that is the asset that, from my <laughs> feel, unless there's a major change, that we were required to move Russell Westbrook. The Lakers were involved in several trade different conversations yesterday that involved Taylor and Horton Tucker. They were trying to get young wing players or, or, or versatile wing players. So I do think there's a strong possibility of the Lakers making a deal today involving Horton Tucker and potentially some of their veteran uh, minimum player guys. But I don't, I at this point, I don't feel any vibration in, in movement in Westbrook. I do think that's something that could be revisited in the summer. But I think they're going to try to make the best of it with Westbrook, alter the perimeter, and alter get some more live bodies if they can find a deal for Horton Tucker they like today. Okay, so let's say they have Westbrook after today, which is certainly likely the 47, you know, 44 this m million this year, 47 Ooh. next year. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I know. Just think about that. What should they do with him? Should they bring him off the bench? So, what do look, you think? It's more about a mentality than, hey, where is he in the rotation? Russell Westbrook has been, he's a Hall of Famer, but he's been an extraordinary reactionary type guard. Right, extremely fast, athletic, determination out the yin yang, right? That's all what he brings to the table. This is an opportunity for Russell to take the next step in the iteration of his career and what LeBron James needs him to do the most. He has to be a thinker. He actually has to be a PG and have situational awareness. When LeBron and AD are on the court, do things that you're great at. Rebound, pass, understand tempo, time and situation. When they're not on the court, be Russ, cook. But that cerebral style that LeBron is talking about, that's where Russell needs to take the next step in his game. In Can order you flip for a switch and do that, though? He's going to have to. You're st this is where you're going to be. This is what you have to make. You know, and we're seeing all these other players say, hey, it's not going to work. The one thing I know about Russ, if he can make it work, 
That's who he is. And that's what we want to see. Guys, Wendy, James Harden, I want to see James Harden make it work. I wish I could have seen Ben Simmons make it work. But then you start questioning their character when they can't. Yeah, and you got to also question the makeup of super teams. It's got to be the right makeup. Agreed. It's got to be the, the Dwayne Wade taking a backseat to LeBron James winning a title uh, in Miami. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy, go, run, be free. You've got a lot of stuff to do going. today. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.